We'll guide you through how to transfer ownership of a Discord server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's important to note that to transfer the ownership, you do need to be the current owner of the server. So go to the server you want to do this for, and then go to the top left and go and click on the name of the server and you'll get a list of options. And you need to click on server settings just here. Head over to the left and scroll down until you see the section called user management and click on members. So you can then see the members of the server and you need to decide on who you want to go and give ownership to. And just remember when you give somebody ownership, they're gonna have a lot of more power. They're gonna have permissions higher than you. They'll be able to do things like delete the server and things like that. So just make sure you're aware of what they'll be able to do. But if you're sure, head over to the right and then you need to go and click on the three dots, which says more options. Just make sure you've got the right person selected and click on transfer ownership. It will then say this will transfer the ownership of your server to this user. You need to acknowledge by transferring the ownership to this server that it will officially belong to them. That's fine with me. So I'll click on transfer ownership and you then need to go and enter the verification code, which you're sent. So I'll need to go and check my email. Once you've entered the verification code, click on transfer ownership. And just like that, you've now transferred it. And as you can see, the crown and the server owner symbol is now appearing next to that user. As you can see, there we go. And if we go to the top left and click on the server name and go to server settings, we now have no owner options because we've transferred the ownership. So if you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.